Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Wednesday news show. The big news of this week is that Charles Leclerc, Formula One driver extraordinaire, has started ice climbing, which means Teresa is over the moon. All right, T, explain. Uh, you've got a little bit of a Formula One obsession, right? Maybe, maybe. But hey, you know, I'm red, like Ferrari. Right, that was deliberate, uh, was it? Yes. And maybe. half Italian, right? So you've got that connection. Is he half Italian? He's from Monaco. He is. But look, Charles Clare, if you're watching, uh, we'd like to go ice climbing with you. So hit us up. Um, T, it's send season right now. It's sunny throughout Europe. It's cold. Mm -hmm. And that means some hard grades are going down. Let's start with Mr. Jakob Schubert. Jakob Schubert is in ridiculous form and he's ticked another super hard route. Jakob has climbed the 9B Erebo in Arco, Italy, as reported by 8A.nu. He sort of climbed it twice after a heel hook broke as he was about to clip the chains. Despite the heartbreaking fall, Jakob worked out different beta, which he thinks doesn't make it easier, and he climbed the route next go. Not bad for a short trip to Arco. Not bad for basically a long weekend in Arco. Uh, yep. Jakob Schubert on a different kind of level at the moment. He broke a hole though. Yeah, so on his Instagram video, you can see him uh, just like falling at the chain. So yeah, heel hook broke, mm -hmm. worked out a beta, didn't think it was particularly harder, like a bit harder, but not harder enough to push the grade. Yeah. Uh, and sent it next go. We will be chatting about Jakob in a bit because that ridiculous form is worth a conversation. So after the 9B counter, that's when we'll be doing that. All right, I've got bouldering news from Switzerland. Brooke Rabatou is on a holiday sending trip in Switzerland, first climbing Kings of Sonlerto on 8A+, and then La Pru, a powerful overhanging 8B boulder, or simply a two-move wonder. It was first put up by Fred Nicole in 1998, and now Brooke made the first female ascent. On other bouldering news, as reported on 8a.nu, Katie Lamb has done Direct North, an 8b plus in Buttermilk's USA. But there's not that much information about it, but we can't wait to see pictures or videos soon. Brooke, first female ascent of La Peru, and uh, I actually touched the beginning holes. Did you pull on? No, no, no. I you touched tried to them. pull on. I touched them. You touched them. Um, I got a power push, um, power spot to the start, mm -hmm. and that didn't help either. It's basically a two moves boulder, but like one, and then I guess two. Yeah. Or whatever. Anyway, on really bad, um, like slopery crimps, only pulling on one side. Um, the first foothold is super far and like tiny, tiny, tiny. So super, super hard. Um, but yeah, there's a video of that coming soon. I can't of, imagine, of like trying. I was in Val Bavona, well, a couple of months ago now, before Christmas, and it was so cold, I just wanted to cry and sleep by a fire. Now it's January, it must be freezing. Yeah, but then when you hit that like one hour and a half of sunlight. Yes, <laughs> just like, like it just feels good. It You're like there, like, okay, soak it in. <laughs> well, it does make for good conditions uh, and an area that needs good conditions is Font and Orian and her brother, Max Berton. Well, they've been crushing. Orian and Max Berton, both World Cup climbers, have been in Fontainebleau and took full advantage of great conditions for some hard climbing. Max sent the 8B Saruman Bass two years after he first tried the boulder. There's a video on his Instagram of the climb and a longer version on Stefano Berton's YouTube channel. Meanwhile, Oriane set her sights on Karma, an uber classic 8A plus with big moves on horrible slopers. This is likely to be the first female ascent of the boulder. I always think uh, when we're talking about those two, just like what a ridiculous ridiculously strong family. Can you imagine like being in that family and not being a climber? You'd have to be a climber, wouldn't you? Because the mom and dad, mom and dad are climbers. Yeah, everyone's climbers. They're all crushers. They're all incredible. It's Pretty genetics, awesome. you know, it's like strong fingers right away. Exactly. And it is always worth remembering how young they are. Um, Max is, oh gosh, how old is Max? I know Oriana's 16. Is she younger? He must be young. Is he younger? We'll put it on screen because I've forgotten. But yeah, super young uh, potential for the future, of course. Talking about the future, I have a new story from a 16-year-old who's down in Spain and uh, is crushing. 16-year-old French climber Victor Guglielmin sent his first 9A, Estado Critico, in Serrano, Spain. Victor posted on his YouTube channel the uncut ascent of this beautiful 35-meter long route. So I mentioned uncut ascent, 
because somebody followed him with a drone while he was climbing. So there's an eight minutes. It's a bit sped up and stuff like that. But there's eight minutes of him climbing this route. All right, so I just had this and image when beautiful. you say follow with a drone. That some bloke was just holding a drone, and just like walking around after him. <laughs> no, no, no. Follow, follow him. <laughs> follow him up. For, uh, but yeah, watch the video. It's a beautiful route, and it's just like so featured. It's like orange, and then turns into like gray, and then orange again. I just really miss sport climbing. <laughs> But yeah, um, super recommend it. There will be a link down below or look it up. Right, uh, let's hear about an ascent from Marco Muller. Marco Muller is on a roll at the moment with hard climbs coming every week. Last week, he sent the 8C Dreamtime and now he sent the story of two worlds, an 8C in Cresciano as reported by 8A.nu. It seems like he's hit a rich vein of form, and in an interview on 8a.nu, he talks about training more consistently and making the best use of his free time. Now, I did say Dreamtime 8C. I think it's generally considered to be 8B+. Um, Historic 8C. Yeah, yeah, who cares? But uh, <laughs> whatever, he sent another 8C, so nice one. Marco, big ups. Big ups. Uh, my next news story is from the Himalayas. As reported on Planet Mountain, Simone Moro and Alex Tixicon are attempting to climb Manaslu in winter. However, last week, base camp was partially destroyed by an avalanche. But nobody was harmed since they descended to the nearest town after some heavy snowfall. On the western side of the Himalayas, Hervé Bermasse and David Glotter are trying to summit Nanga Parbat in winter, and it's the ninth highest mountain on Earth. We caught up with David to see how the expedition is going. Hi, David here from Nanga Parbat Base Camp. I'm here together with Serve Mas and we want to try to climb Nanga Parbat in winter in a really light style. We just have been three nights and four days on the mountain, which was pretty cool and intense. And now we have to wait for an amazing, exceptionally good weather window. So I have in a way disappointed you because the chances for that is pretty slim. I mean, I need to remind myself as well always that yeah, I'm not getting carried away and too frustrated. But as long as you don't leave home, you never know. So that's why we are here. So let's see what happened next. And uh, thanks for all your support and cheering. Uh, it means a lot to us here. So bye. Thank you so much for that video message. Uh, the connection was tricky because I guess there's no 5G up there. <laughs> it does kind of blow my mind that like, we, we basically just sent him an Instagram message being like, yo, can you send an interview? And he can, it just, yeah. that's crazy to me. Yeah. Like how it's going. He's like, uh, let me know if you needed something else. I was about to text him back, like maybe a selfie from the top. Some but I thought, that was, I thought that was pushing it a little. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, maybe. A little bit. Uh, is that it? We are done, that's uh, it, yes. That's the news. 9B counter. So 9B counter uh, and Terry, you had a suggestion last week. So just outline your suggestion again so we know where we're at. Okay. My suggestion was to make it simple, mm -hmm. simpler for us as well, and was to combine the 9A counter and the original 9B counter. However, um, it did bring up a couple of discussions in the comments below. Fair enough. Uh, but you came up with a compromise, I suppose. Yeah, but, but a lot of people were saying, look, if we're counting like men and women equal, which we should do, then like, why should women get more points for a 9B compared to men? We get that. We know the reason why is because the whole point is like there are less women at the moment climbing uh, 9B. And if we just do it like that, we want to feature women more in these things. So what we we're thinking is that we keep your idea exactly the same, except that women get a point for 9A, mm -hmm. two points for 9A+. Plus. Yes. All 9Bs are three points, men and women. Okay. 9B plus is four points. Yes. And if someone sends a 9C, it's five points. If someone sends a 10A, then they win the world. Um, so yeah, then we just throw it away. <laughs> exactly. okay, we're gone. done, we're done keeping it. <laughs> so basically like, it's the same scores, but because we obviously want to feature women and like not ignore those amazing ascents, we also give points for that. Yeah. So it's kind of equal, but a bit extra. It still bugs me though, because if like a man, if a man, if somebody said, yeah, if, if a bloke sends two nine Bs, he gets six points and yes. that's two roots. Yes. But then if you a woman sound sends two nine Bs, she gets six points. Yeah, but then if they only send nine A's, they have to send six nine A's. Ye true, or 
nine A pluses, they get two points. Yeah, fine. It's Three. just I don't know. The, yes. No, no, this it, is it, this is really really tricky because like we want to we want to combine the counts. We want to have an overall winner. We don't want to like like do anyone down or yeah. up. We don't want to make it unfair. If you have a better suggestion than this at home, uh, don't just comment and say it's a rubbish idea. Give us some actual ideas of what we could do to make it better. Constructive feedback, okay? Because nothing is set in stone. You guys are in control of the 90 counter, as you know. We're open to suggestions. Don't just rubbish it. Come up with a suggestion. Is that fair? Yes. However, this week, we have to mention that Jakob got some points. Yes, but we have to decide which type of points. True. Okay, so he's on a counter that we haven't come up with an idea yet. Exactly. You know the drill. Shop stuff as Terry gets a backpack on the table because uh, we mentioned this last week and it's at an amazing price and it's still available. Yeah, it's 48 euros. I said 58. Maybe that's why people got put off. <laughs> But you can euros. get it for, yeah, I mean, you can get it for under 50 euros, and it's the DMM Short Haul 30, as the name suggests, 30 liters of uh, goodiness, and uh, it's a really handy dandy backpack. I get it's like 30 liters haul, maybe like, as in short haul flight. Yeah. Am I going too far with this? No, I know what you mean. And, and like the 30 liters is interesting because you get some 30 liter bags, but they're really big, and that yes. is not a big 30 liter, but as you use it, it's sort of like office to crag, isn't it? Yes. One of those backpacks. So right now it's empty, besides all my random stuff that it's in this pocket because I put it for this video. And uh, yeah, usually I just have in here like my climbing gear. And then when I go to the office or when I go to the crag, it depends, there's a computer sleeve in here. Um, and I bash around this bag everywhere and my computer still didn't break, so yeah. it works. Uh, but yeah, computer sleeve over there. And I don't know, it's just a good big backpack. And yeah, you can get it for under 50 euros. And it comes in various colors, not just this black. Even though, you know, black goes with everything. Well, it is uh, Terry's everyday carry. Uh, so if you want to be like her, get that backpack. Uh, Scarpa as well, that's been restocked. New Margo shoe, um, you know how much I love Scarpa. It's one of my favorite, I think. You know what Mago means in Italian? No. Magician. Really? So if you want to be a magician with your feet, now I buy really some want market. the shoe. Mag I do want market. the shoe. Okay, shop stuff. Yes, finito. finito. Let's talk about Jacob. Schubert. Yes, Mr. Schubert. <laughs> is so, there another Jacob? Is, yeah, yes, the other Jacob. Jacob is in ridiculous form at the moment. You know, he's consistently sending nine Bs really, really quickly. I, I can't remember exactly how long Erebor took, but it was days. There was an interesting thing I read on 8a.nu underneath that sem where they were like, look, he is on next level form. Well, first of all, let's talk about why he's on next level form. What happened to Jakob Schubert? Uh, he took a break. No, he didn't because he just went climbing in Spain and stuff and like sent everything. I don't know. Maybe he's just like got stoked again on, on outdoor climbing. He's always stoked well, though. For me, it started, right? with that YouTube video we put out. Remember when we went to Magic Wood and flashed oh, everything right. in Magic Wood? That, for me, was this the first hint that Jakob was onto something quite special because he put that video out where he sent stuff that takes people years and he was flashing it. He then went on to, you know, like World Championships, for example, World Cups, incredible form, the Olympics, Olympics. he was in bronze. That all finished, he had a break. I saw him in Moscow where he was like, done. Then he went outside and just crushed it. Um, I don't know what he's doing training wise, but what's interesting, what they were saying on AA.NU is, look, if he's taking four days or whatever it is to send a 9B, what happens if he spends 40 days on a route? Yeah, what if he doesn't want to do that though? Like it, the commitment of it is huge. And like, just think about also, I don't know, the psych, and also the, the good feeling of sending something quickly. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine the frustration of like, having to try something hard? Well, it could be a time constraint, as you say, because, the season, the IFSC season is coming up quite soon. Yeah. He's got a train. Maybe it is a time constraint. But then Adam managed to fit in silence, 9C. Was he trips. doing IFSC though? He did some of them, wasn't he? Yeah, I think some, he pulled I back guess. a bit at that point, yeah. I mean, maybe But Jakob... then he found one, like that's the thing, you know, he went up to the cave every summer and mm -hmm. he was like stoked for it and like bolted it. Maybe Jakob should get a drill in his hand and like bolt something he's stoked about. Yeah, it does seem like he's just repeating everything that's repeatable that's really hard and you kind of wonder where the ceiling is for him and that's what i'm starting to think because 
and maybe this is the time to strike. You know, if you are if you are on a run of form, that's the moment perhaps. And what I hope doesn't happen is that the next Olympics cycle doesn't start, you know, the IFSC cycle. I want to see Jakob Sen 9C and I, I genuinely think he could. Of all climbers in the world right now, I think he's at that point now. Do you now agree? is the moment for Not him. agree? <laughs> I don't think we should put that pressure on him because, you know, hard brutes are hard. And yep. I, quite, I, I quite like him going around and sampling everything. Or maybe he's doing that, like sampling, like getting that grade down and settled. And then now he knows what to do for that next step. But surely he's got it settled. I mean, he's multiple 9Bs. He keeps downgrading. You know, it's like... I, I've just, and he's all over the world as well. He's in Spain, he's in Arco. It's like it, Europe. It, it feels to, well, yeah, fine, Europe, but it feels to me like he's building. It feels like it's been building for years. Mm. I wish, I hope he's got a secret project. How cool would that be? He probably be? does have a secret project. Imagine if he was like, I've got a 9C in call my him. pocket and I'm Ask waiting. Ask him. What are we talking about? Just call him. Well, Jakob, have you got a secret project? Can you tell me so I can tell everyone on Climbing Daily? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I could I could not reveal my sources. I could be like, some pro athlete who might be climbing 9B might, yeah, I'll do it Ask like his that. sister. Ask his sister, I could do. I don't know, I just, I, I think it'd be awesome. But anyway, that's my Jakob. I like talking about Jakob. He's like my man crush, isn't he? Well, he is. He's a boss. I love Jakob Schubert. I wish I could be Jakob Schubert. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's move on to... What is this section? Content. Oh, Epic TV Media. Yes. Uh, and you and me were in Sheffield, we climbing were. hangar uh, with Alex Waterhouse. And what a day that was. Yes, it was a really fun day. And this is part two. And we are uh, climbing, jumping around, falling off a kilter board. Matt, you've, you've sort of been thrown into the deep end. Yes, yeah, so what happened is I got suggested to do something that I know I can't do, um, and now I'm gonna look like an idiot, but it's okay, because I look like an idiot on Climbing Daily all the time, so it's just another day at the office. Oh, I'm gonna have a go at some seven C's apparently. Go check that episode out. It was super fun to film. There will be a link down below. And that's it for Climbing Daily. No, not really, because we have some really exciting videos coming up. Yeah, so we spent time with Dave Graham, Melissa Leneve uh, in Switzerland. We were climbing with them. It's all about the new Niad shoe, which has been released, which is a stiff, very different shoe, quite exciting. So check out this teaser. These videos are gonna come next week. This is where you take the cramp and you jump up. Our moves are based on two moves, so if I do one, it's pretty good already. This is the next level. Isn't it? This is for sure next level. I don't do that anymore. Uh, higher, 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 higher. They're really nice for like pushing, you know? Tag. Yeah, cool. Nyad stands for moves in the day. He's like, yeah? Exactly. Oh, sorry. I climbed something! As usual with all that content, make sure you subscribe to Epic TV and Climbing Daily so you don't miss any of it. Right, T. Right, G. Comment of the week. Yes, and it was an absolute banger of a video. Uh, I sort of missed this one, checking from my email, saw it. Very different comment of the week, Sean. Roll it. Know of a climb, you think Adam Ander can't repeat? Or can you unlock projects with secret beta tweaks? I did not pronounce a name wrong, and you think it's your job to critique? You can find it all on Climbing Daily. Comments of the Very good. I love the extra Bravo. effort ones, you know? Yeah. That's, yeah. That's they really thought favorite. through. Like, that's why I didn't send them right away because 
They're building it up. They're scripting it out. They're going out and shooting them, seeing them, recording studio and all of that. I'm psyched for comments of the week now. <laughs> exactly. And you can send your comment of the week to climb at epictv.com or drop us a DM or something on Instagram. So there were uh, look, there was a lot of debate last week about the 9B counter. Mm-hmm. So there wasn't a lot of funny comments. Did you pick a comment? I did. Uh, oh. Mine's from Syndrome. And he wisely, in my opinion, says two. <laughs> the, the number, right? Yeah, Not just, even... just, the, the, just two. Two. Thanks. Okay. I didn't pick a comment of the week. You didn't because... pick one. So well, it was all about the 9B counter <laughs> and uh, and we spoke about it. So I didn't want to, you know, repeat myself. That's fair enough. Um, but yes, thank you for commenting, guys. We read them all. Uh, so don't be afraid to comment. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's it from us. Yes, done. We'll be back next week. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button and we'll see you very soon.